Hey guys, I hope you're all well or welcome back. I'm well aware I haven't filmed a video for a very long time. I'm going to say it's around a month or so, so that's quite bad on my part, but um, I thought I would just jump on and do a little bit of an update. We've had some stuff going on and I just I haven't really thought to pick up the camera if I'm honest and it's been a little bit weird. If you've seen on my Instagram, we actually lost Betty, which is my dog, one of my dogs. Uh, when was it? 7th of July. She died on her birthday, which, who does that? <laughs> so yeah, I've just been heartbroken basically. I haven't, know, I haven't known how to address it, um, but we're over a month or so into her passing and I feel like it's about, about time I came back onto YouTube. So um, I'm not going to go into it just because I, it's just horrible i just don't still don't want to talk about it but yeah she was very poorly and there was nothing anyone could do for her and it was all so sudden so just really weird was not expecting it at all she was like the healthiest dog ever and then just got really ill really quickly and just went downhill so that happened um which like i said has just completely thrown me i wanted to do anything my lips are really dry hang on let me put some of this on so yeah that is that. I'm not going to dwell on it too much on here, but if you've ever lost a dog, you will know um, how hard it is. So, yeah. we still got the boys, obviously. They're doing okay. They're very quiet, but it's just heartbroken. He's so quiet. I don't know whether dogs can get depression, but if they can, he's definitely got that. Because he just lies around and he sulks and he doesn't want to do anything. He doesn't want to play. It's really horrible to see, actually. So we're just trying, to, trying our best to keep him in a routine and and as happy as possible barry's okay he's a puppy he's only sort of known betty for three years so but they, they did get on like a house on fire they absolutely loved each other and bert won't play with him the way betty used to play with him so yeah it's a it's weird it's a completely different setup now but they're okay um and thank you all so much if you do follow me on instagram for all your lovely messages it means the world that is that awful shit shit happens doesn't it but yeah anyway i'll never get over it so there's no point in pretending i am over it but you know what it's like if you had to have a dog put to sleep i'm just getting ready for the day it is nine o'clock i think yeah and i've just done my skincare hair makeup um just about to take my supplements and stuff i'm taking some collagen which i just mix into a drink and i've found it's really helping with my skin obviously i'm getting a little bit older now so i'm losing like elasticity and that really helps i've been taking that for over a month or so i'm still taking my cbd which you guys know i love i've worked with premium jane in the past and um they've sent me some more bits and bobs to try so i'm taking those every day they actually sent something for the dogs as well and which i haven't actually tried yet and it's an organic dog cbd and it's in bacon flavour. I haven't put it on their food or anything, just obviously my mind has just been elsewhere, and so I haven't tried this yet, but it's 250 milligrams of CBD drops per bottle. So I'm gonna try this. If you've followed me for a while, you'll know that Bert slipped a disc in his back probably three years ago now, and we've sort of maintained it with drugs and stuff when he needs it. He takes like a daily um, anti-inflammatory like a herbal one um, but I thought this could be quite good to put alongside that I'm gonna nip it up the vets and just make sure that it is safe for him to take but uh, yeah I thought it was really cool that they've started doing pet supplements so I'm gonna try him on that and I've also got the mixed fruit CBD gummies which I've taken before and I have the strawberry ones as well I think last time I featured them so these are 25 milligrams of CBD now the vegan CBD gummies it's just like eating a sweet basically if you've tried CBD before, um, you'll know all the benefits. These help help me sleep so much better. I get quite a bad back at the bottom of my back, so these relieve it really well. I take one a day in the morning, just when I'm doing all my skincare and stuff, and like I said, taking my supplements, and they work really, really well, and they taste amazing too, so the red ones are my favourite. I think they're either strawberry or raspberry and they're all sugary they're so nice but yeah if i've got a discount for premium jane i will leave it linked below and across the screen if you go to the gym a lot or work out and you get like aches and pains from like lifting weights and stuff they do some really nice bath bombs as well which i've tried in the past if you're like me you're always like grubbing around in the garden lifting things about they're really nice to just jump into the bath at the end of the day 
and have a bath with one of those. It just relieves any aches and pains. I will leave them linked below. I'm trying to think of any other updates. Oh, most importantly, let me finish this. <laughs> so one of the most exciting things that has happened, I couldn't get into it for a few weeks because the week it happened, we lost Betty. So I was just like all over the place, like crying every day of the bloody week. And I just didn't want anything to do with it. But I finally got my allotment, which is so exciting. I've been on the waiting list for, uh, I'm gonna say almost two years to be fair. Finally got the allotment. I will pop some pictures in of what it looks like. We haven't done a great deal of stuff. Um, it's just overgrown with weeds. It has not been cared for at all. And no one's had it for ages, so. It's a blank canvas, I've got a full plot, it's massive, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I am really excited about it now. So we went down at the weekend and built some raised beds. I think we're going to go with like the no dig method where you lay cardboard down and save digging because it's full of bindweed which if you're a gardener or you're into gardening you will know is a nightmare. You can't like sort of take a rotavator to it because it will just replant it all. So we're going to do the no dig method and start with some raised beds. I've got a few veggies that I need to take down. I might do it tonight actually and plant. So when I do go down there, I will take you guys with me and film a little bit. I'm quite surrounded by people so I don't know how much I will film. I just have to wait till there's no one down there otherwise it'd be really awkward. But um, the aim with it is to be pretty self-sufficient in the summer when we can. I want to eat all my veggies from there obviously we do grow a bit at home but we haven't got the room here like we have down there so that's going to be really exciting and i also want to do cut flowers from there you might know i feel like i'm rambling loads sorry i just feel like i've got loads to tell you you might know that i got a little etsy shop which i do um like dried flower confetti pressed flower frames stuff like that so it's all going to join together and work really well and i also want to start doing like hand tied bouquets and stuff all grown in England obviously um, nothing imported so yeah I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to crack on a little bit more down there but it's gonna be one hell of a long process and oh it's my birthday <laughs> not that that matters by the time you watch this because it was on the 2nd of August but yeah it was my birthday and I'm now 32 which is quite scary but we won't dwell on that. Right, I've just redone my hair and makeup and just touched it up a little bit because I need to nip into town. So it's my birthday at the beginning of the week um, and we're going somewhere this weekend. I'm not sure where, it's a secret, but I know for a fact we're going out for dinner. Paul has given that away, so, um, and then we're staying overnight somewhere. So I need to go into town and find something to wear. It sounds ridiculous when I get sent clothes all the time, but um, I sell a lot of it, so I don't really end up owning anything. <laughs> So I need to nip into town and buy something smart so I don't want to be underdressed. And then I've got my uncle's wedding at the start of September so I thought if I could buy a dress that would do both occasions that would be quite good and quite handy. So I'm going to nip into town, got a parcel to post and go and have a mooch around the shop so I thought I'd take you with me. Probably just going to take my phone so if the quality drops that is why. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of sales on because we're going into autumn anytime soon. Much to my disgust, I hate autumn winter. I am a summer baby. But yeah, I feel like all the dresses will be in the sale now, so we're gonna go and do that. I have got a few pieces on the rail from Shein, which I need to do a little haul on. So I might show you those when I'm back. This, I've just gone really casual this time. A couple of t-shirts, a co-ord a dress and a shirt but I will show you those when I get back and also oh my god my new favorite thing how nice is this I saw it on Rachel Stevens's Instagram and she looked amazing in it so I ordered it it's from Oasis and it's like this quilted floral jacket I don't know whether I look like an old lady in it but I just don't care it's so nice I've never bought anything from Oasis before it's on like the higher price range I think it was about £70, but I got it for 50 they were, It was in the sale, so I couldn't resist it, and I just love the cut of it. It's really nice. Kind of wish it was cold enough today to wear it, in a way, even though I hate the cold, but <laughs> it's there for when autumn strikes. I just think it'll look really nice over a white t-shirt and some black jeans. Yeah, it's really pretty. I love that. This is my outfit of the day. Just got one of these, uh, like, strap back. I think it's tensile they're called on Superdry. 
I've got three now. I've got the black one, the khaki one, and this one. I love them so much, so I just ordered them in every colour. Really nice, like, um, burgundy red one, but it was out of stock in my size. And I think they do a blue as well. But yeah, sorry, just hoisting my holding pants up. <laughs> but this, yeah, this is just the stripy one. And then the back, it's like a cross back thing like a cross back strap. Just got that on with Anna Louisa jewellery. I've had these earrings for ages and I wear them every single day of my life without fail as I do their necklaces. So this one is, I'm not sure if they still do this but if they do I will link them below. And then I've just got my, can't remember where this came from, it was like one of those personalised websites. Bracelet with BBB on for Betty Burton Barry, if it's going to focus. There we go. <laughs> All the B's and my super dry white trainers which I wear all the time. I will leave my discount code for super dry um, across the screen. It's Kate H10 for 10% off your entire order. Worth using that because it is quite pricey super dry. So every little bit off helps, doesn't it? I might, it's a bit windy. I don't really know how warm it is. I might put my black denim jacket on. epic fail of a vlog. <laughs> I'm back home now. I went into every single shop in town and came back to the dress that I showed you in the clip. Everywhere it's just full of sale stuff. I mean I got this in the sale but everywhere it's just like going to a jumble sale. It's so messy. I can't sieve through it all. Uh, it just tests my patience. <laughs> so I ended up in Mango with the first dress that I tried on. Um, and this was £80 reduced to 35 which is a huge saving. And then I got a little bit more money off, 15%. Um, it came to like £30 something in the end because um, a bit of elastic was loose at the back, but I can just mend that. So I love it so much. I think I look okay in it. I don't know whether I look like a little bit of an old woman, but I'll show you in my mirror at home but I just love the print of it. It's covered in these huge, I think they're poppies? Oh no, maybe not. They've got like a poppy head but then the others, I don't know. I should know really being into the garden, shouldn't I? But it's like this tiered um, dress and it's made from recycled polyester. It's got, it's got like a top tier, middle tier and it goes really long and then I just picked up these heels from the New Look sale they're just nude so they go really well with the dress um not that you can see them much anyway but i just wanted a little bit of height so i think i'm going to wear this out when we go out for my birthday at the weekend and i think i will wear it to my uncle's wedding as well because it's very wedding i haven't done it up at the back because i can't do it on my own but it just sort of goes across like that yeah love the back on it when it is done up properly <laughs> But yeah, what a bargain, £35 for such a nice dress. Um, they only had one left in my store, but it might still be online. If I can find it, I will link it below. I just love the neckline. Um, and you can tighten it, so I probably will have it a little bit higher. So it comes a bit under my arms more. But um, yeah, bargain. And the fabric is lovely. I'm going to get dressed and show you the pieces I picked up from Shein. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background spinning its head off. In fact it sounds like it's breaking. I'm going to go through with you what I picked out from Shein recently. It's only a few bits and bobs and quite casual this time. As always I will leave my discount code for Shein in the description box if you want to check that out. I just adjust this. We're on a very bright, very bright setting. There we go, that's better. Um, so I've worn a few of these bits already so if they are slightly grubby you have to excuse me. I've been grubbing around in the garden. But the first couple of pieces are t-shirts. I love their t-shirts, really oversized. They're just easy to chuck on with a pair of jeans or shorts and nip out of the house. Um, and you can never have enough t-shirts in my opinion. So I got this really nice like minty, almost like a eucalyptus sort of green. It's picking up quite bluey green on camera. Completely plain on the front. I got it in a size large, so it's really oversized. Comes past my bum. 
um, and then on the back it said good it says good vibes choose happy trust yourself love always 1997 no relevance to anything i don't think but i just really like the back print and i think they did this in other colors if i can remember rightly so yeah love that and i like gardening in it because it's green and it's flowery and then the next t-shirt i got was a bright pink one i love neon pink in the summer it's so nice i wouldn't wear it any other time of the year but to go add to my summer t-shirts this is a really nice one so again in a size large um really oversized this one is slightly grubby i've washed it and i can't get it clean so it might be cooking stains a bit of oil maybe um, I'm going to have to try some vanish, see if it will get it out. This one says California on the front and then on the back again, I love a back print. It says Summer Adventures, California. A pair of blue denim shorts with like a frayed hem and some sandals, really nice. And I also think it would look good as a beach cover up, just thrown over your bikini. Um, if you're just going to like, you're on holiday and you're going to the bar or something chuck this on with a tan i think it looks so nice with a tan this color i've been after a pair of these for ages and i have worn them and i haven't steamed them so they are slightly creased but i wanted a kind of natural sort of i think they're a linen or like a linen mix and um, which i try to look for on shein rather than loads of polyester all the time and um, they do do some nice linen and cotton pieces so i got these in a medium and i'm like a 10 to 12 on the bottoms but they are like an elasticated waist flare. Now, I think they're meant to be culottes. They're a little bit of an odd length on me. I'm in between 5'5 five five and 5'6. Five so if you were taller, these would definitely be culottes. But because I'm quite short, they're like a weird length. But I love them anyway. I hoist them right up here and wear them with like a little black crop top or a white crop top. My Birkenstocks. Or a pair of trainers but yeah really like these the quality is really nice they've got like a little toggle on the front which doesn't make them tighter it's just there for decoration and i think if you didn't like that you could easily take that off but yeah really nice they're quite um see-through but the fabric's still quite heavy and thick if that makes sense so i do wear nude underwear underneath and they're fine but really nice pair of trousers the only thing that I would change is them having pockets. I'd really like them with a pocket and they haven't got them, but I can live with that. <laughs> I think these will be good going into autumn as well. I've mentioned autumn twice in this video and I don't want it to happen. <laughs> so then I got a co-ord. I haven't worn this yet. It's been sat on my rail for ages, but it's neon orange. I love this color, especially with blonde hair and on brunettes to be fair. Um, it's just a really nice summery color, isn't it? You can wear them as separates. I'd probably wear this shirt with black rip shorts. Um, you can wear it open, wear it closed, but together it's going to be quite a statement. I think with gold Birkenstocks would look really nice. I don't know if we're going on holiday this year, but if we are, I will be packing this because I think around the pool it would look lovely. I've got this in a size medium. The shorts look quite small. I haven't tried them on, but I'm sure they'll be okay. So many co-ords on there. I struggle to choose. If you are going on holiday, um, definitely check Shein out because they've got some amazing summer pieces on there still. Then I went with this little dress because I can't have enough dresses, especially flow flowery ones. I put this on my Instagram. I'll put the picture in here. Um, I wore it out to the Cotswolds the other day. And it's just perfect. It's got like this kind of like a billowy cap sleeve sort of style um i think i could have sized down in this i got it in a medium i probably could have gone with a small it's got like a elasticated waist and then goes all the way down into a maxi dress really nice i love the color of it and i don't know whether you can tell but the uh, pattern is these little kind of like white daisies with a red center and then it's got a bit of a keyhole detail on the back but yeah, really nice, just a casual dress. I wear all my maxi dresses with trainers. Occasionally I wear them with sandals, but I like to sort of toughen them up a little bit with a trainer. I just feel like that style suits me better, but whatever you want to wear, wear by all means. Um, slightly see-through, again, I would wear nude underwear with this or like a slip underneath. It fits me really well, I wouldn't want it any longer. And I wore it out the other day, I put like a knot in the side of the skirt so it wasn't touching the floor. It's also a really nice way of wearing them if you don't want them too long so it was more like a bit of a midi on me 
but I love that piece and again super affordable. I feel like this came in different colours as well. By the time that I've ordered stuff and it's come I just forget what I've ordered and what other styles and colours they come in so I will link it below. And then the last item is this shirt. I love this. Anything with that kind of broderie on glaze kind of vibe. I haven't done this up, bear with me. This is 100% cotton, so it's really nice. However, it does crease. All embroidered on the lapel, like bits here, and then, are they lapels? Collar, all around the back as well. And then all these little flowers on the front are all embroidered too, all down the sleeves. I think this is such a good price point for a cotton shirt that's embroidered as well. And then it's got these little shell buttons all the way down it so nice i've got it in a large i wish i'd have got it in a medium because it's just a little bit boxy but um yeah really nice piece i wear it tucked into high-waisted blue mum jeans and it looks really really nice a pair of black birkenstocks all my white trainers is how i've been wearing that it probably do the wash because the collar's a little bit makeup -y, but that's the risk you run wearing white clothes isn't it definitely check out their cotton clothing because they've got so many nice bits on there i'm going to mention it again going into autumn we're going to have to think about it even though we don't want to um these colors works will work so well like the reds greens golds i just can see this looking so nice so yeah love this piece so those are the pieces i picked up from shein this month I know you guys do like to see what I get. I've got emails to do. I think we're going out on the bike later. I need to walk dogs. I'm going to do my emails, put these clothes away, and I will catch up with you in a bit. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday. We are heading off out for my birthday surprise today. So I've just loaded the car up. I've spent all morning packing. I hate packing. I just can never seem to get my head around it. Um, I find it really difficult, but it's two o'clock and we are finally sorted so i've just loaded i've cleaned the car out loaded it up just doing the final house checks watering the greenhouse and stuff like that and then we're going to head off like i said i still don't know where we're going i have a feeling it might be cotswold based which if it is that is an absolute winner because it's my favorite place ever so i've got to head down to the post office and pick paul up i feel like that's all i do in my videos is go to the post office God, my hair needs dyeing. God, look at that parting. So yeah, let's go. guys so it is now Thursday we've been back from our little weekend break for a few days now um as you'll be able to tell I didn't pick the camera up a great deal I as you'll see from the clips I did a little bit of a room tour but after that I just completely forgot because I was having such a nice time so um typical me vlogging in public just is at the back of my mind all the time just because I want to take in where I am and sort of live in the moment rather than whipping a camera out all the time but I did get a few shots um, I got some pictures of the food we had the food was delicious so we stayed at a place called Slaughter's Manor House and it's in Lower Slaughter in the Cotswolds absolutely gorgeous horrible name but stunning if you ever visit um, Cotswolds make sure you drive through Lower Slaughter it's stunning it's got like a little stream going through the town just chocolate box village it's lovely so we went there had a three course dinner had some drinks sat in the garden for ages the grounds of it were just beautiful got all dressed up i went out and did that and then the next day we what did we do we had a wander around lower slaughter which took about half an hour because it's such a tiny village had breakfast at the hotel and then we headed into stow on the wild which 
I didn't get any footage of. Um, I don't think we actually bought anything there. There was a craft fair on. So we went and had a look around there. We went into some antique shops, some foodie shops. And the shop I wanted to go into, Cutter Brooks. She wasn't actually open on a Sunday. So I'm going to have to go back to Still on the World uh, to have a look in there. Um, and then we headed to Dalesford, which is one of our pla favourite places to have lunch. And a bit of a mooch about and look at all the stuff that is unaffordable. <laughs> That's generally what we do. Uh, but I did buy four new dahlias from there. They had absolutely gorgeous ones there. And I had, I'd had i never heard of those ones before. One is like a huge dinner plate dahlia. Um, and then I got like a white cactus one. And what were the others? Like a peachy pink one. I'll pop the pictures in anyway. I can't have forgotten. But I think I'm going to plant those down the allotment. So yeah, we had a really nice lunch at Dalesford. We had a quiche with three different salads and some of their homemade bread so good if you haven't been to Dalesford and you're in the Cotswold area highly recommend it they do everything there they've got like Bamford Wellness uh, which is the lady that owns it Carol Bamford I would love to live closer we're probably about half hour to 40 minutes away from Dalesford but if we live closer I would definitely work there it's like my favorite place Paul not so much because he just thinks it's all overpriced which it is it's very expensive I'm not going to be around the bush but it's lovely just to go and get ideas even if you don't come away with anything the weather was absolutely stunning and it was just such a nice little break I mean we only stayed away for one night I feel like that's all we needed really so nice just really nice to get away I'm just coming I'm just editing this video and I didn't have an ending so I thought I'd hop on just to say thank you so much for watching, as always. Any video requests you've got, do let me know. Like I said, if you're visiting the Cotswolds, definitely do Dalesford, Lower Slaughter. Um, where else can I recommend? Still on the World was alright. I found it. I found the shops there a little bit... I don't know, something and nothing. I've been to nicer Cotswold villages than that. There is a Arboretum, I think it's Batsford Arboretum. Uh, that's really good and they've got a huge garden centre which like is set in a Victorian wall garden we didn't go this time but we've been a couple of times before so if you're out that way definitely recommend that and all the arboretums open as well and you can walk around that I think they keep birds and stuff there as well so and you can look at those while you're there just really nice anywhere that you go in the Cotswolds is dreamy isn't it um but yeah, lovely weekend. And I can't recommend that hotel enough. It was stunning. And the service was just amazing. And the food was brill. I'm going to go get this video edited. I think it's quite long. So I need to get it finished. As I mentioned at the start of the video, definitely check out the Premium Jane CBD. I took it with me this weekend and took it while we were away. I sometimes find it a little bit hard to get to sleep or stay asleep in somewhere that isn't my own bed. And I just slept through the night. It was the best night's sleep. So they definitely played a part in it. In helping me have a good night's sleep. Also the fact that it was a super king bed. And it was the comfiest bed. I think I've ever spent a night in. So yeah. Check out Premium Jane. Again I will leave the link across the screen. And pop all their details in the description box. I'm going to go before this video is way too long. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.